Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing solutions on a number line. This is standard 6.9b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Alma is reading two books each week, and that looks like it's a pretty pretty steady rate. And we need a number line here that's going to represent the number of weeks it will take her to read at least 28. That's going to be important. The not exactly 28, at least 28. Now take a look at all four of these number lines. They've all got a circle, either open or closed, right there in front of 15, so let's just call it 14. And let's see, what does this equal to? What, what kind of expressions can we write for A, B, C, and D? So let's just pretend that these number lines here represent W, since we're dealing with weeks. So what does A represent? Well, this number line is you notice how we've got the 14. It is less than 14, but it's got a closed circle. When we have a closed circle, that means we include 14. So it could be less than 14. It could also be 14. So that means we need a less than or equal to 14. So less than or equal to 14, any number that's 14 or less. With B, you notice it is greater than 14 but it is an open circle. An open circle means we cannot include 14. So we can include 14.00001, but not 14 itself. So it's W is greater than 14. C, only difference between C and B is that it has a closed circle, which means we can actually include 14. So that's what all of these different number lines represent. And then 15, our D is a little bit less than 15, so we're going to call that 14 again. But notice it's an open circle on D, whereas in A, it's a closed circle. So it's going to be less than 14. So these two kind of pair up, and these two kind of pair up. Only difference is open and closed. Now, now that we know that all, all of these represent various expressions, how do we best solve this? Well, let's take a look at our issue here. Alma reads two books each week. So two books for each week, and we want her to read at least 28 books. So first off, she can read 28 books. So the expression we're going to write is going to have at equal to. The question is greater than or less than with that equal to. So she wants to read at least 28 books. And then the question is, well, if she would read another number, would we want her to read 29 or 27? Do we want her to go a little bit more or a little bit less? And the way it's written here, when you're reading at least 28 books, that means you need to hit your number and you can go more. So if you're saying, oh, I at least need 28 books, you're cool with 28, 29, 30. So it's going to be greater than or equal to, at least includes it. What you don't want is you don't want less. You don't want less than that 28 books. And so let's take a look. Now we have an expression, and now we can just use our algebraic reasoning here. We are going to isolate the variable. And in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to get rid of this two times. The way we do that is we multiply we multiply 2 times w, so the inverse of that multiplication is division. And as long as we do the inverse operation on both sides, we'll be good. So we've got this w is greater than or equal to 28 halves. And we can just simply divide up. 2 goes into 28, that's 1. And that is going to be 4. So we're good on that. So W is greater than or equal to 14, which is going to make us choose between B and C, but our answer here is C.